Hi everyone. So a couple of weeks ago, Sharon and I spent time talking about intergenerational experiences. And it was all around fitting in and talking about different generations and how they fit in together. And I want to zone in in my summary around leadership and how managers manage different across generations. So most leaders, um, especially Gen Xs and some Gen Ys, need to relook how they are engaging with Gen Ys and Gen Zs, in my opinion. So Gen Xs are socialized in a certain way. So I find that they are fixers, they are resourceful, um, usually really independent, compliant, they are rule followers. Um, so being the first PC generation, they are, you know, to a certain extent quite innovative and, you know, used to technology. But a typical Gen Xer goes through all the rites of passage. And I think I talked about that in the, you know, in the, in the whole interview. So watch the interview if you, if, if, and you'll find out a bit more. And Gen Ys are quite big on community and experiences and learning and just connecting and staying, you know, digitally tuned in. Um, usually they are the big social media generation. Um, and though there are quite a few, a lot of similarities between your Gen Y and your Gen Zs, I find that Gen Zs are a lot more individualistic. And um, when I talk to my team, I always say that they are the king of boundaries. Um, and you know, the, the, there's quite a bit of a crossover between boundaries and rules. Um, and they're also prone to a lot of anxiety and fear. And, and, and they, are, they are the bunch that are very self-aware when it comes to mental health related um, matters, right? Uh, they also don't have the inhibitions that the older generations have. So whereas my generation would want to keep a job and we would, you know, we, 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 we are bound, like Sharon said, we are bound by the, the allure of a salary. They are not a bound by the allure of a salary. And I, I, I would take a year off and go backpacking somewhere. Um, that would be a Gen Xer. As managers, it's important to understand that you can't manage a Gen, a Gen Z the same way you manage um, a Gen Xer or you would manage, you know, people within your, your own, you know, generation. And I want to kind of talk about my experience and some of the things I have seen. Money is a baseline. Money is really important to them. And money is not what you used to determine. It's, it's not the reason they come to work or wake up to come to work. They need to be paid well, full stop. So as an employer, you do need to be competitive. That's the first thing. Um, work is an experience. And so the workplace needs to be offering them an opportunity to learn. It needs to be offering some level of community, um, but also a huge amount of autonomy, right? So being able to do what's important to them. Um, and, and it, it's also important that the workplace is somewhere they feel safe. Um, another thing is around work-life integration. So the jury's out on this, but there's a lot, of, a lot of conversation around, do I work to live or do I live to work? But you, work needs to be integrated into their life because they are prioritizing their mental health, they are prioritizing their well-being more. Um, and they will not put up with things that do not serve their needs. And so as a manager, you need to be thinking about how you're structuring work in service of creating that balance, in service of prioritizing the well-being of your people. So recognition is a big thing, right? Um, the days of the team doing work and a boss taking or a leader taking credit for it are, are, are long gone. 
we need to recognize our people, we need to acknowledge their contribution to the workplace and how the role that they play um, in the workplace. And more importantly, at the end of the day, as leaders, we need to ask our, ourselves one question. How are we creating an environment? How, what kind of culture are we creating that allows people to thrive? Um, very often, we measure how well um, a place is doing by how long people stay with us. I think that's important. And I think that the longer people stay with us, it says a lot about the organization. But I think with this generation, it's also important to understand that it's okay for people to explore because they are an exploratory generation. And so getting a couple of years out of someone and allowing them to have wings to go into something else and exploring another career or another opportunity and allowing them to learn something new is a good thing. And that's one of the mindset shifts that we need to have as leaders, that the fact that someone doesn't feel yoked to you indefinitely is a good thing. So just food for thought, um, that very different generations, very different mindsets. And so we need to also start thinking very differently as leaders and being willing and able to create the right environments for our people to thrive as in building their careers, but also to be able to thrive in their personal lives um, as employees. Thank you. <laughs>